everybody. This is Mrs. Burke. I am still sitting out here in my paddock uh, on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. And I want you to say hi to Belle. <laughs> say hi, Belle. <laughs> Belle is a miniature horse here on the farm. She is one of two that I have. Um, and I thought on a beautiful day like today, I would sit out here and give you your information on taking notes during win. So why should you take notes other than you always hear from all your teachers? Oh, hey, that's really important. Well, it would play a huge role in your academic success, which remember academic just means school. And it doesn't matter if you are in art class or gym class or science class or math class, taking notes is a huge skill and it's something you're gonna use in middle school and high school and college. It's something I use all the time as an adult. Um, so it's very important that you learn how to master that and of course like any other skill it's really necessary for you to practice it. So what do notes do? So you know why you need them. So what do they do? Well, they help you process new information. So when I'm learning something new, um, I write down notes all the time because if I don't write it down, I'm not going to remember that. And I'm sure you've heard a lot of people say that. That's actually research has proven that if you write them down, you have a much greater chance of remembering and learning that information. Uh, the things you want to write down, of course, are key concepts and terms. The other thing that notes do for you is they trigger the memories of the lecture or the reading or the video or whatever it is that you're taking notes on. The actual body movement, and you guys remember that MI survey I had you do? If a lot of you guys were high body movement, I'd really recommend making sure you actually write um, instead of not just type, but write out your notes. And it's a good source for test uh, preparation and review. Another good thing is that they can contain information that you're not going to find anywhere else. So you're going to get a lot of information on our videos that you're not going to find in your textbook. And you hear the horses behind me. Here is Blaze if you want to say hi. Hi Blaze. Can you say hi? All right. So here we go. So where do you take notes? Uh, well, you can take notes on class lectures, of course. Uh, you can take notes on the videos like this one that you're watching. Uh, you can take notes on what you're reading. I do that all the time. Oh, bless you, buddy. And how about instructions? If you're taking notes on instructions that you're getting maybe for a big project. So what are some general guidelines for notes? Well, don't try to write everything down. You're not going to win. You're not going to master it. I want you to create or use maybe some outlines, make some bullet lists. Um, use shorthand and abbreviations like the symbol and instead of writing A and D, it'll save you some time. Uh, add pictures and illustrations wherever you can so you can get away from having that huge chunk of text in front of you. Color code. I know when I used to take notes, I used to always color code mine, so I would keep a highlighter handy, and any uh, big vocabulary term, I would always highlight that in yellow, and that would always help me. And then the other thing is when you are doing notes, you should always go back and define any unfamiliar terms that you have. So a few more guidelines here. Be consistent, so make sure you're doing them all the time. Be selective. Again, don't write down everything that you hear, okay? Translate the information into your own words. That's a huge skill to have to be able to do. And then organize them is very important. So use numbers like one, two, three, four. Be brief. Don't try to write in complete sentences. In fact, you really don't want to do that with notes. Make sure they're legible. And don't worry about grammar and spelling. It's the one time where if you spell it wrong, who cares? As long as you can sound it out and know what you were talking about is really what you need. So, where are we going from here? All right, YouTube clip. Hang tight. The average student takes notes at a rate of one-third of a word per second. The average teacher speaks about two to three words per second. Bottom line, if you're trying to copy down everything your teacher is saying while he drones on about Shakespeare, you're going to fall seriously behind. Note-taking is an important skill in and out of school. It can make the difference between passing and failing a test, excelling at a job, or even enjoying a complicated movie in a way that ensures you learn the material during class time and not after. First, write down your conclusions instead of a barrage of facts. Second, Use your questions to make connections. And third, spend 10 minutes going over these notes at the end of class. And if you should choose, try going over these notes by teaching them to a classmate or a friend. Hey, who was
was that lady. All right, I hope you enjoyed that clip. So what do you do with your notes? Well, you should review them. Uh, they are a great source of information. In fact, that's why I had you guys get the five subject notebook for me. That's really what you're going to use instead of your textbook. Um, you should actually recite them, talk them out loud and, uh, see if that helps you. And then you should reflect, think about how, bless you, how it connects them to other notes and ideas that you know. So the more connections you can make, the better that, that it will be for you. Now I'm going to teach you about a specific strategy. I always like to tell you all these things and then give you a strategy. And a strategy can be like a no thank you bite. I don't know if you guys know what a no thank you bite is. So a no thank you bite is you taste it once, see if it works for you, and then decide if you like it or not. And that's exactly what I want you to do for the Cornell style notes. I'm going to teach you how to do that. So the Cornell style notes are you take a piece of paper, um, whether it be in your notebook or a plain piece of paper, and you divide it into three sections. So you're going to have the title up on the top. You're going to have the bulk of it on the right to take notes. You're going to leave a little section on the left, and then you're going to leave a bottom uh, space as well, just like the picture here shows you. I also already have some pre-formatted paper like this, so if you ever want some, please let me know. I'd be happy to keep some in class for you. So while you are um, doing notes, as soon as you are done, I want you to look at the notes, which should be all on the right hand side, and I want you to pull out the main ideas. Maybe you have three different sort of paragraphs or lists there. You should have three main ideas listed on the left. Once you're done that, you want to look at those main ideas and summarize them down in the bottom in your own words. By doing that, you are absolutely going to master and be able to have those notes work for you and do the best job. So here is summary time for note taking. So remember, note taking you are going to encounter all your life and I still do it all the time even as an adult. Certainly as a teacher I, I do it um, even when I'm researching horse feeds for them or maybe uh, different grass to plant, things like that. Um, these are a skill, something that you need to practice and it needs to be reviewed. You can't do it once and then walk away from it. Uh, remember I gave you some guidelines to follow and then I gave you a strategy or no thank you by the Cornell style notes. Remember those three different parts. So notes on the right, main ideas on the left, summary on the bottom. I hope you guys all had a great weekend and I'll see you in class.